So the way I was looking at uh, desert communities is I was looking for uh, from some I would visit and some I would do uh, ethnographic research where I would look at. I was looking for how they did it before the industrial period. Like what's the antique way to do this? And in that research, every community was doing it with slightly different forms because it's, you know, the global distribution is different around the world, but each of them had a common practice. And this practice was so surprising to me. And that practice that I dying to share with your listeners and also help us all practice is they were uh, getting hydrated through the water locked inside of plants. So I want you to think cactus or aloe or even uh, root systems like tubers that were, um, were buried under the sand. And in this understanding that water holds plants, I mean, wait, plants hold water. They hold water in a form. So if, you, if you've ever looked at an aloe plant, you know it's kind of a jelly-like plant, right? It's got um, a more uh, plasma-like constituency inside that plant. When I saw that, I was trying to figure out how, what is this jelly-like stuff? I started calling uh, all my colleagues. I started reaching out into the material science community. And eventually I came across the work of Dr. Gerald Pollack at the university. And I called him up and I said, you don't know me, I'm a crazy anthropologist, but uh, I heard you might know what that jelly stuff is inside of plants like cactuses and aloe. And he said, oh, that's just concentrated water. 